Hey, our friends, we're gonna draw a really cool animal today. What are we drawing? A camel. A camel. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. For this lesson, you need a marker, some, some paper, paper and, and something to color with. <laughs> something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our camel's eye. We're gonna draw it over here in the top left corner of our paper. We're gonna draw a circle. Here? Yeah, that's a good spot. Then we're going to draw a smaller circle on the top right. Then let's color in the big circle and leave the little one white. Now we're going to draw the nose. We're going to start right here in front of the eye and we're going to draw a curve that comes out. And then we could draw another curve that comes back down. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to draw coming back up to the eye. And then let's draw a little cheek right here. We're going to draw another curve underneath <laughs> for the cheek. Okay. <laughs> now let's draw the nose. We're going to draw a little check mark right here. <laughs> check mark. Check mark. There's nose. And then we can draw a line coming down right in front. And then we can also draw the little smile underneath if we want to make them happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's draw let's draw a zigzag line that comes over the top of his head for the hair. And then let's draw an ear. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out and then back in. Then we can draw another little curve inside. Yeah, we did it. We drew the head. Now let's draw his neck. We're gonna draw a curve. That's zigzag. We're going to start right here on the bottom of his head and we're going to draw a zigzag line that comes down like this and then it's going to curve right at the end. Llama head. Yeah, it llama does. Neck. It kind of does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like a llama. Or a, it's a camel though. Okay. <laughs> now on the back of his head, let's draw another zigzag that's coming down like this just for a little bit. We'll stop right at the bottom of the cheek. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes down like this right at the end and curve right at the end. Oh, skinny <laughs> neck. I love it. It's perfect. We're drawing a cartoon cute version and that's super <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right. Now let's draw the little hump on the back. So we're, let's draw a curve that comes up like this and then we're going to come back down. Looks like a mountain. It looks like a mountain or a roller coaster. <laughs> now let's draw the front leg. We're going to draw a curve that comes down like this and then let's draw another curve on the other side coming down and then let's connect it with a zigzag. <laughs> now his legs are a little bit longer so let's draw two lines coming out like this underneath <laughs> and then let's draw his foot. Watch this. We're going to draw a foot that comes down like this around and then back up. That's a big foot. Yeah, it looks like a golf club. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a shoe. Yeah, it does look like a shoe. <laughs> now right in the middle, let's draw a line to split his toes. And then on each side, let's draw a little bump and then another little bump. We did it. We drew his foot. Good job. Now he's got another front foot. So let's draw. We're going to keep it really easy. We're going to draw one line. We're using overlapping. So we're only going to draw part of his other leg. And then a zigzag that goes in. Then let's draw a curve or a straight line coming down actually. And then we're going to curve forward and then back in. There we go. Now on this foot, let's just draw one little toe like that. All right, we did it. We drew both of his front feet. Now let's draw his little belly. We're going to draw right here. We're going to draw a curve that comes back and then we're going to end. We, we want to make sure that we don't connect it. Yeah. Then let's draw his back leg. We're going to draw a curve that comes down. Yeah, and see how I stopped kind of the same spot as the front legs. Yeah, and I added a little zigzag. I like that you <laughs> added that too. Then we can draw the back of his leg coming down further. And then let's connect those with a zigzag. And then let's draw two more lines, just like we did on the front. Repeating a lot of the same steps. <laughs> good. No, that's good. And then let's draw the little curve that comes around and back up for his back foot. 
And then that little line down the middle. Now, if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video if you need more time. And we can draw the two curves for his toes. Yes. All right, now let's draw his other back leg. So he has four legs. We're going to draw a short line, then zigzag back in. Then we draw another short line coming down. And then the curve for his foot coming around and back in. And then just like we did on the front foot, let's just draw one little curve for his toe. All right, we did it. We got four legs and four feet. Now, what are we missing? The tail. The tail. Let's draw a curve. It's going to come out and kind of S curve at the very end. Then let's draw another curve right next to it. Watch this. At the very end, let's connect it so it looks, so it comes to a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then right here at the end, let's draw two curves that come out. And then let's connect those two curves with a zigzag line. All right, we got one more detail we need to add right here on his, on his hump. We're going to add a zigzag line that comes across. And some of the zigzags can be big and some can be small. Like a mountain. Like a mountain. Mountain. It looks like <laughs> a snowy mountain. But <laughs> let's add one more thing. Right here, this little line that's coming down from his nose, let's connect it all the way down to his mouth. There we go. And we can also add one little curve back here and back in for his other ear. So, let, so he looks like he has two ears. All right, Hadley, we did it. We finished our little camels and they look perfect. Except we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our camels. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Hadley, did you have fun coloring your camel? Yes. She turned out super cute. I love it. And we also added some shading on her back legs so that it looks more 3D. What could our art friends do to finish their drawings? Add a background. What, oh, what could they add in their background? A desert. A desert would be perfect. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your camels. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.